Right then, this is a quick walk around video and this is for a Honda Civic 2.2 ES diesel. A 12 plate car with 72,000 miles and a lovely service history. Our car is in really, really lovely condition. It's actually supplied new from the dealership where I used to work at Bristol Honda years ago. Um, got a lovely example. Lights and lenses completely clear and intact. The front of the car is very, very clean, as is the whole of the car in all honesty. Uh, bonnet, very clean. I only saw one um, stone top of any note on there, but I mean, I'm talking minuscule. And then down the near side of the car first, it's pretty much mirror smooth on those panels. Can't see any indentations at all. Front wing, unblemished. Front near side alloy, really, really good. Just the odd, tiny little mark, which you'd expect on the near side wheel. So this one nearest the curbs. And then the wing panels is really crisp, very original as well. Looks really, um, very, very straight. Near side rear alloy, absolutely unmarked. Come on the back of the car. And all very, very clean indeed. to the off side of the vehicle as with the near side it is like looking in the mirror on the panels there it's so clean it's one of the cleanest you're going to see i did see a couple of tiny indentations actually on top of the wheel arch but i mean they are they're really really tiny um, and they don't detract in any ways i don't think they do Final wheel again, absolutely unmarked. So externally, the car's in absolutely fantastic condition. Coming into the boot area, absolutely enormous boots on the Civics. Uh, they really are huge. Obviously, 60 40 fold on the rear seats there, um, but all the upholstery in the back here looks in really lovely condition. Really has been cherished this car. And as you probably already know, dual level uh, boot floor. So you've got either a cubby hole there if you want, or you pull it back, drop it down. And you've got a good sort of seven or eight inches of extra boot, boot depth there as well. Coming to the back of the car, again, in really lovely condition. Uh, so it's not always a given, but given these are family cars, so quite often they can be a little bit beaten about in the back, and that's nothing to do with build quality, as I know with my own kids. Um, but you can see their boots and their uh, sorry rear seats in their raised position and this forms part of this absolutely brilliant magic seat affair uh, beautifully engineered just pull the lever up drop it down simple as that with the near side rear door again as with all the others in lovely condition and you can see the seats there in fabulous condition in the back here as well tons of rear leg room and i'm not cheating i always put the seats where i sit and i'm over six foot tall and so legroom is normally far better than that, but even that's more than most cars in its class. So front passenger door card, again, on oh, nooky holes, lovely and clean. Oh, the footwell there is really, really clean and tidy as well. So finally, driver's door card. Sorry, the wind's picking up, so hopefully you can hear this. Again, all in fantastic condition. So sat inside the car now, engine's running into this section so you can see the dashboard illuminated. Um, beautifully made dashboards um, and it's a lovely dash to look at. And it's, it looks pretty much as new in here, it's just been kept wonderfully, wonderfully well. I don't know the tiniest signs of any kind of wear or tear. And it's a testament to the build quality of these vehicles. Hopefully just pan in there for you, without snagging on the wire. And then you can see 72,192 miles recorded on the car. And there are no warning lights on the vehicle. The only light showing is low fuel light. And that is the dashboard view you tend to get. So what you want to do is set your driving position. So the steering wheel is slap bang between the top of the rev counter and the speedo at the top there. But I think that is just a wonderful, wonderful dashboard. Uh, so much more interesting than uh, the usual sort of dull affairs you find in sort of modern family cars. Finally, just to come under this absolutely beautifully presented engine bay by Honda. Fantastic engines, cam chain driven. Um, this car's just been serviced by ourselves. 
Uh, also just had a brand new independent MOT placed on it with no advisories at all. Prior to the MOT, uh, we actually uh, replaced the front brake pads on the car. Uh, they probably wouldn't have failed or even been advised, but they were low enough uh, for us to do them as a matter of course. What will follow this video will be a road test of this very car. Right then, this is a quick road test video and this is for a Honda Civic 2.2 ES diesel. Uh, this particular car is registered LG12 WEU and mileage at the start of the road test is 72,179 miles. The reason we do these road tests is essentially so anyone that's actually looking at this car in an advert online actually gets to see that very car in operation. Um, we feel it's right if people are willing to travel the distances they do to come and see our cars that we go to the time and effort to do this for you. Um, it actually just gives us opportunity to show you the car in operation um, but more importantly to feed back any issues that might be with the car prior to you coming to see us. Um, we know just how frustrating it is to go and see a car um, told it's good only to find out when you get there there's issues with it which you should have been told about before getting there so hence that's why we do it. Uh, it's also done on these really lovely quiet country roads very close to our premises um, so hopefully it'll be representative of what you feel yourself if offered a test driver in the car. So come to the car itself it's obviously with the Honda history been very very well looked after um, you know, it feels like it and engine starts absolutely instantly of course settles an absolutely even smooth idle um, no warning lights on the dashboard at all by the way related to the engine or any other part of the car but the engine itself is a, a, it's an absolute gem it's a brilliant diesel engine very 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 smooth you only really know it's a diesel in the lowest gears you know first and second possibly but even then it's very quiet um, when you're up to speed like this, as cliched as it sounds, you could just so easily be driving a petrol engine car. That's how quiet and refined the engine is. Um, you know you're in a diesel when you put your foot down because you can just get a wall of torque pushes you along. Um, and what's lovely about these DTEC engines is, unlike some turbo diesels where you know they're kind of not quite on the turbo or they're off the turbo at the other end, um, these have this lovely linear power delivery which is just very even to the whole rev range um, so you can rely on the power being there at all times in, in, in good measure um, it really is you know a, a really fantastic engine on top of which obviously they're cam chain driven so there's no cam belts to worry about on these or any sort of big services looming on them either engine oh sorry temperature gauge by the way running at a third which is exactly where it should be when it's been running uh, for some time at full operating temperature uh, whether it be diesel or petrol actually in Honda's case engine then feeds through clutch and into gearbox clutch is absolutely perfect on the car uh, bite point is exactly where it should be um, smooth positive and actuation so everything is you know, absolutely fine there um, gearbox in the car as I've said on many videos you know Honda to their credit they put a lot of effort into the the feel of the gearbox and the linkage that they supply for you um, because as with most front-wheel drive cars it's cables between the gear lever here and the gearbox in the front of the car and, and unfortunately on some cars and some manufacturers that, that seems to give them license to give you a really vague lifeless perfectly okay gearbox but you know it's just the actuation is um, isn't rewarding this has a lovely weighty mechanical feel to it it's slick it's precise um, you know it adds to the driving pleasure of the car rather than detracts as so many do uh, and I can't feel anywhere in the gear linkage at all it's absolutely perfect steering of the car again another strong point in this generation Civic really nicely weighted it's got, uh, makes the car feel lovely and secure on the road very accurate very precise and matched perfectly to the chassis of the vehicle and I can't feel anywhere in the steering at all it feels absolutely spot on um, it tracks absolutely bullet straight and there's no vibrations at all coming back to the steering wheel at this speed or any speed up to the legal limit chassis of the vehicle again what I'm looking for on road test is basically just um, you know 
when you're going over the bumps you'll hear it hitting the bumps but you shouldn't hear any other noises it shouldn't have any sort of metallic noises clunking from underneath the vehicle um, or any rattles at all and this has none it's exactly as it should be in fairness those things are normally quite innocent they're normally just little anti-roll bar links chattering away with a bit of wear but this is absolutely nothing at all the chassis by the way is brilliant it really really is it's a fantastic generation of car this um, because what they've given you from the last generation is the same agility fun factor uh, very dynamic loves to change direction you know so if you're enthusiastic with your driving you'll love the car um, but whereas the previous generation in some people's eyes at least not mine um, was too hard too unforgiving at um, low speeds and into certain bumps this has addressed those problems completely because it is one of the best riding cars in its class it's so comfortable to drive um, over the shortest or the longest trips it, it really is a fabulous chassis brakes on the car just wait to get past the lorry there just give them a good old shove but yeah it's a really good brake pedal and what i'm looking for on the brakes when you hit them the car should go sh come to stop straight not violently going left or right um, and also that the brake pedal itself should shouldn't have any kind of vibrations or pulsing coming back through which would suggest sort of brake wear or warped discs but these are absolutely perfect looking around inside the car I mean, we've not even cleaned the vehicle yet but the car is in lovely condition in here it really is um, as I say on many of my videos what's really hard to get across on the video sometimes is real world build quality like this and these are fantastically well made cars um, you know, I'm sick and tired basically of you know the car magazines every time they line up group tests all the same cars you know always lauded for their amazing build quality build quality isn't when they're new in my personal opinion it's how that build translates into long-term ownership and when a car like this one is seven years old or so done sort of 70 or thousand miles of this clearly has you know what's the build quality like then i mean there's not a hint of a squeak or a rattle or a buzz it feels like new to drive that's and that to me is build quality and it's not all about soft touch plastics and thuddy sounding doors it's about you know this has got nice soft uh, touches and it has got nice sounding doors by the way but what it has is an integrity of build that translates through the whole of the vehicle so the whole of the car every um, switch you press every button every lever you pull every pedal you press has a, you know, the, the same feeling of integrity and build built into it and that's where these cars are loved and that's why they're so valuable secondhand relatively um, everything works absolutely perfectly by the way air conditioning pumps out absolutely ice cold air um, lovely and simple easy to use radio even for sort of an old fuddy daddy like me um, dual zone climate control so you can have different temperatures side to side as i said all working exactly as it should my favorite part however is this bit in front of me this lovely sweeping two-tier dashboard which i think is just design genius because it what it does it puts all the information you want to look at more commonly or more often rather up nice and high um, which basically means I can look ahead at the road but at the corner of my eye clearly see the speed I'm driving at or if I want to look at the radio or you know my trip meters it's all up there to the left hand side there and all working perfectly down below that you've got a more conventional pod of um, three dials obviously your temperature gauge rev counter and fuel gauge is there um, but it all just looks and feels brilliant in hand it really does um, you know it's really common for you know customers of mine who you know we sell loads of these cars who have come from other manufacturers and so say sort of high quality ones as well um, who are just gobsmacked by just how well made these cars are basically that concludes the video there's nothing to report back mechanically on the car it drives absolutely perfectly